be subject to arrest. Do it now. Growing up in Ferguson, Missouri, I was surrounded by all different types of people, and from the color of their skin to their economic status, but it wasn't really a big deal when I was growing up. When I was younger, I never felt out of place growing up in a mostly black community. We were just kids trying to have fun and really didn't look any deeper into things. It was also not the town that you saw in the news. We weren't afraid to go out at night and we didn't have to be aware of our surroundings as much. Most of my friends growing up either moved away or went to private school and all of a sudden I was one of a few white kids at a mostly black school. And at first I was really nervous, I didn't know how to act, I didn't know if I should try to fit in. But my classmates told me that they wanted me to remain who I was, they didn't want me to change to be like everyone else. I think that's one of the positive things I've learned about diversity is that you don't always have to fit in with everyone around you. After graduating high school, the riots broke out in Ferguson and I truly saw the worst that diversity can bring out in people. People were so hateful towards each other based off the color of their skin, whether that was white or black. But I also saw a community that came together for a cause greater than itself. It suddenly wasn't about one person, but rather this whole movement that affected so many people. I think there's a long time before we get over the differences between people, but I feel like there's definitely attention brought to it now. We all come from different backgrounds, and I think people should immerse themselves in cultures where they are a minority, because you can learn a lot from it.